Hey everyone, in this video, you will learn how you can copy the data of new Google Sheet rows into a Google Docs template automatically. So guys, if you are using Google Docs and Google Sheets together frequently, you already know how time consuming it can be to copy the data from one file to another. So guys, if you are generating reports, proposals, or any other kind of document using Google Docs, which requires data to be transferred from Google Sheet into Google Docs, this video is for you because here I'm going to show you a simple automation by which you can send the data of new Google Sheet rows into Google Docs template automatically. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding, super simply. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And guys, this is the landing page of Pabli. And I'm going to paste the link of this page in the description so that you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and select Pabli Connect product. Then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here. Okay. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Google Sheet Sheets New Rows to Google Docs. All right, so after giving such names, you have to click on create button and you will see your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things only. So guys, trigger is that event which start this workflow and the action is an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So in our use case, adding of a row of data in Google Sheets application is going to trigger this workflow and the data will be transferred to Google Docs applications template automatically that will be the action. Okay, so here in this choose app field, you have to search for trigger application, which is Google Sheets in our case. Okay, and you have to select the trigger event as new or updated row. And it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, we can create a connection with Google Sheets application and by following these steps written here. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. So you can read the instructions. Let me show you directly how you can create this connection. First of all, you need to open the spreadsheet. This is my spreadsheet and you have to open if you are using multiple Google accounts in the same browser, just like me. It is better to open the spreadsheet first in incognito mode to make the connection properly. So I have already opened it here. Let me show you that. Uh, this is my spreadsheet. Okay. And here guys, you will find this extensions option. Click on extensions. And from this add ons option, click on get add ons. And from this Google workspace marketplace window, you have to install an add on which is called Pabli. P A B B L Y Pabli connect web hooks. Okay, install this add on here. I have already installed it. And after installing this add on, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. That is an important step. Okay, and after refreshing, when you click on extensions again, you will find the uh, Pavli Connect Webhooks option available here in the drop down. All right, from here, you have to click on initial setup button. Under initial setup, you will find these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So in the URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to mention your final data column of your spreadsheet. So what does that mean? Let me show you. So guys, here you can see I am entering the details of shortlisted candidates. Okay, and here I am uh, entering the data like the department in which they applied for the name of the candidate, the email address and the contact person's name. Okay, all right, or the manager's name. So here you can see guys, as I'm going to fill, start filling the data, I am going to fill this A column first, then column B, then C and finally the D column. So as and when I'm going to enter the D column data, that is going to trigger the workflow. So our trigger column is D column here. Okay, or the last column. 
Right. So let me first copy the URL that uh, I got from a workflow. So this is my webhook URL. I'm going to copy it. And let me just paste it here. In the extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks, initial setup. Here is the URL field. Let me just erase this field and let me paste the URL. Okay. And here is the trigger column and I have already entered as D. And here you can see guys in the workflow, as I have copied the URL here, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now we are going to bring some test data from our uh, spreadsheet to here in the response of this uh, trigger. So here guys, you can see in my spreadsheet, uh, we have this send test button. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row that you have in the spreadsheet will be sent to the workflow as the test data. So let me just click on it. And here you can see test data sent successfully. Okay, this is the data that is sent. Okay, now you can click on submit button. And you can see your connection is configured. Now you can close this window. Let me show you if we got the data captured. Here you can see guys in this response section, we got the data captured like this. And here you can see the trigger column name, the spreadsheets name, the row index from where the data is coming. And here you can see the name of the candidate, the email, the contact person and the department. Everything got captured here as it is as we had here in our spreadsheet, right? That's how you can capture the data. Now you can go back to your uh, spreadsheet. And from here, you have to do one thing more that is click on extensions and from Pabli Connect webhooks option, check this send on event option as well. So when you check the send on event option, uh, what will happen whenever you are going to add any new row here that is going to trigger the workflow. So on every event, the workflow is triggered. That is what it means for. And after that, you can come back to the workflow and from here, now let us uh, fill this data or send this data to my Google Docs template. So in my Google Docs, I have created an offer letter for my shortlisted candidates. Okay, so this is the offer letter template I have created. And this is the data I want to paste here, the employee's name, the contact person's name, and uh, the current date, and the HR's name. Okay, these are the th three or four things I want to paste here from my Google Sheets. Okay, so let's connect the Google Docs application here. And you can see here, uh, here we are going to enter the current date on which we are generating the offer letter. So for sending the current date here, we need to first have the current date here. But in this data, we do not have the current date. So for generating the current date, we are going to use a feature of Pavli Connect, which is called date time formatter. So here in this action step, first of all, I'm going to search for date time formatter. And here we have an action event which, which gives you the current date. So we the now the name of the action event is current date only. Select it and click on connect. And here it is asking the format of the date. So you can choose any standard format as you want. I'm choosing this one. And now I do not want to include any time in the response. So I'm just making it false. And just click on save and send test request button and you will get the current date received like this in this label. Here is the current date. All right, now click on this plus icon and another action step will open up. Here we are going to connect with Google Docs. Here, at Google, here is Google Docs, select it. Then select the action event as create document from template. Okay, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. Then click on sign in with Google. From here, you have to choose that Google account by which you have created the template then you have to give some additional access to Pavli Connect to your Google account. So just click on continue from here. And you can see the authorization is successful. And we are now connected. And then it will ask for the uh, ask to select your template documents name. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the documents that you have in Google Docs. And this is the template I'm using and the name of this is job offer letter template. Okay, so I'm going to select it from here. This is job offer letters exact template. Right now it is asking for the new documents name. So we are 
creating new documents from a template. So you need to give a name to the newly created document. So to give a name, I'm going to use this data that I have just received uh, from my spreadsheet. So I have received the name of the candidate and the email ID of the candidate as well. So I'm going to use these labels only to create a name. So I'm going to map the labels here. So just click here and the previous steps will appear in the drop down. So from this Google Sheet step, I'm mapping the email address of the person because email addresses are unique so that we can easily identify uh, the uh, documents for different candidates. Okay. So after mapping the uh, email address, I'm also putting offer letter here. So the name will be clear, right? And here it is asking for the documents location. So all the documents being generated out of this template is going to be saved inside my Google Drive's directly directory in any folder. So you have to select the folder's name here. So this is my folder named as new recruits offers. This is my Google Drive's folder. So I'm going to select this name from here. Just search for the name new recruit offers. Here it is selected. Okay. Now here you can see you started showing these four fields, the current date, employee name, contact person and HR name. These are appearing here because we have placed these variables or placeholders here in double curly braces. So the things that you want to change here in any document template, you need to place these placeholders here in double curly braces. And when you place these things here, the things will appear, the placeholders will appear in form of fields in your workflow. And by mapping the data here, you can change the value of those fields. So to uh, to map the values here, you just have to click here. And for the current date, I'm going to use the second step where we have fetched the current date and map it here. For the employee name, use the Google Sheet step and map the name. Similarly, for the contact person, map the contact person label. And the HR name, I'm going to map the contact person only because the contact person is my HR only, okay? Right. Now guys, to check your connection with Google Docs, you just have to click on save and send test request button and a new document, a fresh document will be created out of this template with all the filled details and it will be saved here in this Google Drive. So let us just check it. I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And this is the response we got here. Let us just check directly in Google Drive if we got a new file created. And here you can see guys, we got a new file created with the same name. You can see the email ID offer letter. Let me open this document also. And in this document, you can see here we got the date placed, the name placed, the manager's name placed and the HR names also placed here properly at the right place as we have mapped as we have entered the um, placeholders. So this is how you can copy paste data from Google Sheet rows to Google Docs automatically in proper places without any manual intervention, just by setting up this automation. Now we have to set up it only once. After that, you do not have to do anything manually in this workflow. After that, you just have to add the details of the candidates here in these rows that is going to trigger our workflow and new documents will be created automatically that you can find here in your Google Drive automatically. And the workflow is going to run in the background. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.